Now inside the trailer, my bed, I've turned um, what used to be a couch and had uh, typical RV cushions, which are about the most uncomfortable things you can lay on, into a bed. Um, it would slide out into a full-size bed, but it's just me, so it's a twin-size bed at the moment. Um, and let me show you some of the other things I've got here. Um, the other thing I have is I carry two electric heaters. I just, I just bought this one. This is a uh, little tiny one and it only uses about 800 watts um, which is about, I don't know, it's about 12 amps maybe. And um, if I'm plugged into a park and it's cool, that's a great thing. I don't have to, uh, I don't have to use my propane. So it saves me money to go into a park where there's electricity. I also have this, which is my mother's actually, she left behind. It's a electric tea kettle and you plug it in and it sits on this base. When it's on the base, you hit this button and it turns on and when it boils, it turns off automatically and it holds um, 1.7 liters, which I think is a quart and a half. But uh, that's great for, uh, again, if you're on power. And I keep those underneath the underneath the dinette table. Um, down here in the corner, which is where it usually travels, I carry um, paper towels. You can see the end of the roll there. Let me see if I can show you what's here. Paper towels. And I have this. This was an experiment. It's a light and a fan. And when you've got heat in here, sometimes all the heat's at the top and it's cold at your feet. And I was trying to use this to blow the heat down off the ceiling like you would, uh, you know, a, a ceiling fan in a house. And it worked pretty good, except um, I didn't have any really good batteries. And it also works as a light, of course. Um, and they're LED, so they don't use a lot of batteries. The fan uses more batteries than anything. And uh, apparently, even though it's been sitting out here in the freezing cold, it still has some power for the fan. But um, we carry that. Um, I don't wash my hands much. I use scrubs. If my hands are dirty, if I've been doing something, wrestling with the dogs or something, I use these. These are pretty nice. Um, they're a hand cleaner. They're, uh, they're rough. They're very good for getting grease and stuff off your hands. But um, to save water, um, they're fantastic, I think. Um, I have some, some candles in jars. These, you buy these at the dollar store for a buck, and they're usually up to here, and I've burned it all the way down. And I usually leave these on at night because it, it keeps the bugs away from me. It, the bugs go to the candle instead of uh, me. I have my um, con uh, inverter. This is a really cheap, crummy inverter. Um, but if I need to absolutely uh, charge something up like my shaver or my laptop, it works pretty good, although it burns the battery down real fast because it's 9 amps. 9 amps on a 40 amp battery is not uh, good for more than a couple hours. I carry, this is my night light headlight thing, so I don't have to turn on lights in the night or if I want to go out and see what the dogs are doing. It's nice. And we keep some uh, food container cups that I use for um, cereal bowls or mixing up pancake mix or scrambling eggs or whatever. And um, here's another candle. Keep a couple of those. And uh, I keep a jar of peanut butter in here. 
Just in case I get snacky in the middle of the night, I can get the peanut butter. So some things in here just kind of get kind of crazy. Um, because the because the hand cleaner things are kind of rough. I carry Huggies uh, diaper wipes, tiny wipes, whatever you want to call them. These camping and hiking, I, I, these are worth gold. Um, and as the as the soldiers from Desert Storm and uh, Afghanistan will tell you, um, these are what they want for Christmas. So that's what's in here. All right. Now again, I do more boondocking than. Uh, campground camping so I don't use my microwave too often but so I use that as storage I keep my paper plates in there I keep some drink mixes in case I get some really bad water somewhere and I keep some crackers and snacks in there but that's uh that's all that's in the microwave it's a nice that's a big big piece of storage right there to waste to stay empty and it keeps this stuff from rattling around in there. Now underneath my microwave there's a little storage area here and this trailer has built-in shelves or drawers whatever you want to call these I don't know what these are but I got various knickknacks and things in here um, soap, toilet paper, uh, grommet kit, tea bags, batteries, uh, toothpicks, insect repellent, all sorts of things. More junk down here. It's a junk drawer. Uh, my medicine, my medicine chest, all these uh, stuff. I got drills for the drill. Drills, extra fire starter or lighter, stove lighter. Um, Ziploc bags. You can't, you can't ever have enough Ziploc bags. Uh, my silverware. Straight from Wendy's. Thank you, Wendy's. Uh, my laptop. Actually, that's my notebook. Charge cord. And uh, a whole bunch of sharp knives. Cheap, cheap sharp knives from when, uh, Walmart. And just, just in case I'm having a really fine dinner, it's a serving spoon. <laughs> and then in the bottom, very bottom, I got Atlas and. Uh, information about the trailer um, flat paper stuff and across the hall from that stuff there are two cabinets here and those uh, just take the uh, Tupperware bins that I have numbered and keep various things in them um, two of them are food. Um, this top one, number two, and number one are both food. These are just from Walmart, and these are pretty nice. But uh, I don't know why I carry rice. I'm never going to make rice on the road, but this is tea bags, different types of tea bags. Mrs. Grass soup, um, oatmeal. Different instant oatmeals in a package. You got hot chocolate, um, Swiss Miss. I have a uh, jar of sugar. This uh, this was pancake mix, and I used it up pretty much on my last camping trip. And this, of course, goes with the pancake mix, maple syrup. I also have brown sugar. Um, because I frequently take uh, sweet potatoes and I like them in brown sugar so that and a can opener of course can opener goes in there so that is one bin and my other bin is uh, emergency pop tart in case I don't have time for breakfast cereal for breakfast Crackers, crackers, macaroni and cheese, and a thing of Ziploc bags in case I need to pack something away. 
I've got spices. This is uh, cinnamon and sugar. Uh, this is Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese. I have some uh, garlic powder. I have some. Uh, this is oil, olive oil. It's in a uh, spice thing. This is salt, pepper, crackers, and then we have some taco seasoning because I think that's a pretty complete seasoning mix for a lot of foods. So those are my food storage other than the refrigerator. And these are pretty much just nifty little tools and things I have. I have a trail cam which I set up often outside the camper when I'm camped out. Oh, pesticides. I think we'll have those for dinner tonight. We just might eat those tonight. And then I have binoculars, small pair of binoculars. These are phenomenal. Minolta binoculars, compact 7x35s. They work great. I'm impressed with those. Um, in the very bottom there's a pillowcase I think more for padding than anything else. And then in the one below that, uh, tapes, batteries, cords, rechargers, and um, some games. I got the Othello and a chessboard game. It's actually a computer chess game that I use frequently. And then there's things like a mirror, batteries, extra fuses. You never know when you need fuses or when somebody needs fuses. Lots of batteries. I keep lots of batteries on hand. A Leatherman tool. Boy, you know, you can't beat these when you really need tools. Although, I have so many tools that I don't know what to do. This is a tester to test um, the battery and the lights and stuff like that. And what is this? They have aspirin in here. Jeez. I didn't know I had those. <laughs> Believe it or not, I have a list of everything. I'll show you that. Let me show you the list. Alright, this is my Everything A-Liner book. And it is a uh, three ring binder. And uh, it's got the registration and inspection and some interesting stuff I've picked up on things I want to do. Um, this is my fuse assignments. Solar panel. This is the solar panel analysis. What uh, what each item uses, what each appliance uses for power and how much time I spend on those appliances. And then there's a winter and a summer usage. But um, this is my food. When I go any place, I make out a menu. And this is the food that I keep in the A-liner all the time, as you just saw from the buckets. Um, and these are the things that are cold goods that have to go in the fridge before we leave. And this is frozen foods that I might take with us. And this is the entire list of everything that's in everything. Storage unit 1, storage unit 2, storage unit 3, storage unit 4, certain my clothes and shower bag and stuff like that. And then this is the stuff that I keep in the car for the dogs and for myself inside my computer bag, my shower bag, what I pack for clothes. I try not to forget stuff, but um, I was a pilot um, in my younger days and everything goes by checklists. So camper set up and take down and it has, you know, a couple of weeks before, then 24 hours before, get, uh, get the fridge chill, take care of the voltage, make sure you got gas, do the dog collars, uh, charge everything up, Download podcasts and update the laptop. Nothing's more obnoxious is to get to some place with cheap Wi-Fi and find out your laptop wants to take 30 minutes to, to update. Good checklist. And then breaking camp is important. As you can see, these red things are things I've forgotten. I forgot the trail cam once. I had to go back 60 miles to get it. Yeah. That's the door to get into the the largest cargo area that opens there. 
there's my stove that just travels there because it it's pretty tight in there it doesn't uh, bounce around or slide around but if I'm sleeping I can open that door and the uh, portable toilet is right there in case of emergency <laughs> it's got to be a pretty big emergency in my opinion <laughs> but so that's everything in my trailer come here sit what do you say <laughs> okay do you say anything <laughs> no all right we gotta go to walmart